Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing really well and I'm sure you are if you are an Arsenal fan because we have won twice in one week. So yesterday we played Leicester, 3-1 to Arsenal. I'm personally really, really impressed with the performance. Really impressed with the scoreline, did not think it would be that comfortable if I'm honest. I'm going to be rating the players in this video and also just discussing the game more generally. So if you're interested in hearing my opinions then keep on watching. Now going into this game I was a little nervous. Leicester are on fire this season, they have a really really good squad. They are third in the Premier League table and we were 11th going into this game. So on paper it was looking like Leicester were definitely going to beat us. I was slightly nervous and I was made even more nervous when I saw that Arteta had rotated the squad to such an extent. Now, he obviously rotated in six players. We saw um, William come into the side, Pepe, um, Cedric for Bellerin. It was all quite mad. Um, I know a lot of people reacted quite negatively to this on social media. Um, people were sort of writing us off before the game had even begun. Um, I was a little worried, I won't lie, I thought... Maybe Saka would have been rested or Emil Smith Rowe, but six players in, six players out was quite an extreme move from Arteta, but it paid off. So I want to talk about the four goals. Now, the first one was, of course, a Leicester goal. Tielemans, very, very easy goal for Leicester. There was some kind of miscommunication between Xhaka and Alneni, and Tielemans got through it very, very easily. Um, some people were arguing that maybe Mary could have come across him, but... Very, very easy goal for Leicester. I must admit, I was sitting there thinking, uh-oh, this is going to be an ugly game. We've conceded within five minutes, sort of get me out of here, I'm done already. But luckily, we did make a comeback. Obviously, Arsenal scored three goals in total. First was the David Luiz equaliser. Then we got a penalty, which Laka took. And then finally, a goal from Pepe. Overall, I think Arsenal had a really good game. I think the team worked very, very well together considering so many players had been rotated in. Um, no player was a weak link. Nobody had a bad game. I think everybody played really, really well. Now, another thing I wanted to say was I'm so happy that we have finally won a game without needing to rely on this man right here, Bakayo Saka, the 19-year-old. Arsenal have finally won a game without him playing. It's so refreshing to see because we do rely on him a lot. I'm now going to move on to my player rating. So first up we've got Bern Leno. Now I didn't think he had much to do yesterday. Um, he did make a few saves. Um, there was that one dodgy moment near the start of the game when we were 1-0 down where he passed the ball to a Leicester player and I think my heart stopped a little bit at that moment but other than that he had a pretty solid game. I'm going to give Bern Leno a 7. Next up we have Cedric. Now I thought Cedric had a really, really good game yesterday. I think he has got to be our first choice right back. I know Mikel Arteta rates Bellerin. I really, really hope Cedric does get to start from now on. His overlap with Pepe was working so, so well. He looks so good down that right wing. He's got to start for me from now on. I'm going to give him an 8 for yesterday's performance. Moving on to Kieran Tierney now. Kieran Tierney seems to always just put in consistently good performances. I think he had a good game yesterday, didn't do anything wrong, didn't do anything amazing either. He just had a solid, good game. I'm going to rate him a 7. I'm now going to move on to our centre-backs. So that was a pairing of David Luiz and Pablo Mari. Now, David Luiz had such a good game. I was very, very impressed with him yesterday. He made some key interceptions. He managed to keep Jamie Vardy quiet and he got the equaliser. David Luiz actually scored a goal. He is great from set pieces in the box, heading the ball in. That's where he should be when we take um, free kicks, etc. I think he had a great game. I'm actually going to rate him an 8. Pablo Mari was another player who had a very good game. Um, there was that moment when he went one-on-one -on -one with Jamie Vardy, didn't foul him, kept up with him. He looks very, very solid defensively. I know a lot of people wrote him off when we signed him, but I think he's a very, very good centre-back. I'd be quite happy to see him starting week in, week out. I'm going to give him a seven for yesterday's performance. Now moving on to our midfield pairing and yesterday that was Mo Alneni and Granit Xhaka. Now Mo Alneni didn't really impress me that much, he kind of did his job, 
kept things ticking over in that midfield so I'm going to give him um, an average six for yesterday but Granite Xhaka on the other hand I thought had a very very good performance I really rate Granite Xhaka I know a lot of people don't like him don't want him anywhere near the starting lineup but for me he is that experienced solid guy that you want in your midfield um, he looks really good alongside Thomas Partey as well, um, who hopefully will be back to full fitness soon. So yeah, for me, Granite Xhaka is getting an 8. Next up, I will be rating Emil Smith-Rowe, who did unfortunately get injured yesterday. Um, it looked like a groin injury, which is so, so disappointing. I think we have overworked the kid way too much. We rely on him and Saka way, way, way too much and... It has led to an injury, which, to be honest, is not surprising at all. He didn't play for long. I think he was only on for maybe 20, 25 minutes. So for that reason, I'm going to give him a six. And I really, really hope he is not out for long and that he gets better very soon. The next player is Willian. Now, finally, I can give the guy some praise. He had such an amazing game yesterday. Some people's man of the match, he got two assists and he just looked very, very impressive. I think this was the Willian we all expected to see, the Willian we all want to see. I really hope he can continue this run of form. I'm going to give him an eight. Now moving on to my personal man of the match and that had to be Pepe, hands down. Very, very easy decision for me. I'm going to give Pepe a 9 for yesterday's performance. I thought he was insane. His dribbling was great. Um, he kept drawing fouls. He was spinning people all over the place. I think Leicester's left back, Thomas, was actually taken off at half time because he just could not deal with Pepe's pace. Definitely a 9 for me. Really, really strong performance from him. Up next we have Lacazette who again had a great performance, he scored that really important penalty and he is always someone you can rely on when we get a penalty, um, I never sit there and think oh god is he going to miss, he always always scores them, he had a very very good game, great hold up play and his work rate was insane, he is going to get an 8 from me for yesterday's performance. Finally, moving on to the substitutes now, first was Odegaard, he is the perfect replacement for Emil Smith-Rowe in my opinion, he is a bright spark, great at passing, sort of gels everyone together, I thought he did well yesterday, I'm going to give him a 7, and then we move on to Thomas Partey, who again, had another good performance, um, he seems to be getting back to fitness again, I'm praying he does not get injured because I really, really don't want that to be um, a pattern. He had a few shots on target and I was quite impressed with him yesterday. So he is going to get a seven as well. And then finally, we have a Bamiyang. Now, he didn't play long enough for me um, to give him a rating. I think that would be unfair. So I'm not going to rate a Bamiyang. And that is the end of my ratings. So yeah, guys, that is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to know your opinions um, on the players, their performance yesterday. Leave your ratings down below. I really, really love to hear your opinion. And thank you so much for all of the support you're giving me on this channel. Every single comment, every like, every time someone subscribes, it really, really does mean a lot to me. Um, I hope to continue making these videos for you, keeping you entertained until lockdown is over and then hopefully beyond then as well. So again, thank you so much and I will see you all in the next one.